So listen to what Max Holloway has to say about Dustin Poirier's blocking here in between the third and fourth rounds of their rematch. I know, I know, but I know. After going back into a couple of Dustin's recent fights, I think I agree with Max. You know, Dustin likes to do a sort of Philly Shell modification when it comes to his striking defense. And although the Philly Shell is very popular in boxing due to Floyd Mayweather Jr., I feel like Dustin, and ironically enough, Conor McGregor, are two of the lone users of the Philly Shell in mixed martial arts. Dustin does like to modify his Philly shell once he becomes a little bit more comfortable against his opponent, uh, utilizing what I like to call the parry guard, which looks like a Philly shell. However, instead of shelling with his right arm, he will rotate between deflecting and parrying the strikes with his front arm and then shelling, making it really difficult to get a clean shot on Dustin because he basically has two lines of defense. Something that he also uses that I think really throws guys off guard is what I'm calling the offensive Philly shell, which looks like the Philly shell at a distance. However, when you take a look at it, Dustin is simultaneously trying to block punches with his elbows, and he's oftentimes pretty accurate with it, and when they punch his elbows, you can bet that hurts the hands of his opponents, and that discourages them from punching in the future for sure. In fact, when Dustin can't get to the Philly shell in time, he will still prioritize trying to intercept the incoming strike with his elbow. This is an annoying thing to deal with too. Look at Max trying to smack away Dustin's elbow to start off his combo here. And I know that I've been referring to Dustin's blocking style as the Philly shell for most of this video, but I do want to point out the traditional martial arts principles that go behind his boxing defense. Now, I think that Dustin really tries to set up his offense through his defense, and I think that that is kind of the name of the game for Wing Chun. And interestingly enough, I found this Wing Chun guy online that pointed out the Wing Chun principles that he noticed in Dustin versus Max. Dustin is a really smart guy, and he is extremely resourceful. That's how he's gotten to this point in his career, heading into UFC 257. And I think that Dustin is just doing what the legends before him did, such as George St. Pierre and Anderson Silva, who both heavily leaned on traditional martial arts techniques that they learned from their childhood and applied them to their MMA game. You know, I think that Wing Chun isn't the most practical martial art. If you are a true martial artist, and even more so, just a true champion, you should always stay open-minded to the things that you can learn, even in the most obscure places. Because I don't disagree, you know, looking at this Wing Chun competition in front of me right now, it does look a little bit funny. But I think that there is something really, really big to say about it when a guy such as Dustin Poirier leans on the principles of Wing Chun defense so much. And of course, nothing needs to be said about how Dustin has succeeded in the world of the UFC and mixed martial arts as a whole. So I just wanted to make this quick little video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you are interested in seeing a little bit more of these technique breakdowns in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Oos.